Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Final Tackle Podcast. And we're joined by the fullback of the North Sydney Bears. And she currently also plays in the NRLW for the Sydney Roosters team, Shanice Parker. Thank you so much for joining me today. And how are you? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me, CJ. Um, I've seen what you've done <laughs> with a lot of people, especially our girls. So I'm really excited to jump on today. Let's start with your grassroots. You started out in WA, which... Not going to lie, rugby league is definitely not the biggest sport. It's mainly an AFL state. How did you hear about rugby league and what were your grassroots over in WA? Um, Yep, so I actually grew up playing league over in WA. My mum was actually a Jillaroo in 2000. Oh, wow. Yeah, yep. So she played in the World Cup over in England. Mm -hmm. Um, Yep, so I grew up playing for the Willoughby Bears. And then obviously once girls hit age 12, you you know. Yeah, can't really... Yeah, you've you got to change to a different sport, unfortunately. Yeah, so from there, I kind of played a bit of league tag, same with the Willoughby Bears. Mm-hmm. And then when I turned 16, I went over to um, Rugby Union, which my mum was also playing at the time. Oh, wow. As well. So, yeah. So you really had that, um, you could say, a f- bit of older female influence in Rugby League, which was your mum. And then so you more or less was like, I want to do what mum does and I love doing it sort of thing. Yeah, no, pretty much born onto the footy footy field really wasn't given any other choice (laughs) she's like look get on the field born with it like yeah so no that's awesome uh what was the decision behind going from wa over to new south wales was it purely like to chase your rugby league and union dreams sort of thing um well initially it was because i moved over here for the seven so i got Mm -hmm. a full-time contract and then literally they said would you like to move move over and within two weeks my mom kind of just shoved me out the door saying, don't. <laughs> she was like go for yeah. it <laughs> yeah go for it like, don't regret this I like, take this opportunity and yeah so and then I've never looked back I'm still here <laughs> now that's cool and obviously um you switched from union to league while over here uh what was the deciding factor you know was it like a scout saw you and they were like hey would you like to try a hand at league or what was the go there um well I've kind of always had my foot in the door with league like in 2016 I played I was 17 or something like that and I played in the all-stars match Mm -hmm. and then after that that's when I went to um, rugby and I guess my passion has always been with league and you know growing up with that league background and then seeing how far it's come and um, you know what was going on at the time I was having a bit of FOMO so kind of made the switch back over. No, that's cool. Um, yeah. And talking about your time in Union for, for a bit, um, you managed to go to the peak and play for the Wallaroos. What was it like to pull on the green and gold for the, the Australian Rugby Union team? Um, you know, it was, like, really overwhelming. So so proud and humbled to be able to have represented my country in Rugby Union. Um, and it was pretty awesome because my mum and all my family flew over for my debut against New Zealand and it was just... Uh, like the best feeling on that's earth. That's awesome. Like, yeah. Did you guys get the win on that day? No, sadly ah. no. But but it's still <laughs> an amazing, an amazing feeling, an amazing day. Yeah. Honestly, the loss is is overtaken by the day, you know, of the debut for yeah. you, which is great. Um, and now talking about your time with the Bears, uh, you guys are into the grand final. To so anyone who's listening to this episode, the ticket link will be in the description below. It's only 10 bucks. Get there if you can. They are going up against the Central Coast Roosters. Um, what was the game like last weekend for you guys? And how are you prepping for this week? Um, you know, coming into the game last week, we were kind of pinned as like the underdogs and stuff, which it was kind of, I had you guys as a, as a smoky to win, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, so we were coming in as an underdog, so really we had nothing to lose. So we just kind of wanted to put it all out there, no matter what the result came back as. And clearly, you know, we've got into the grand final now, so um, got to take it that step further. But there was a moment in our game where we just kind of, where one of our girls went down. and mm, Lucena, yeah. Yeah, Lucena. So I was talking to... We've, we've been talking throughout the week and even to the Canella girls and that moment, like how unfortunate the circumstances, but when we all came together... And did that um, circle prayer thing, I, from what I... Because yeah. I was at the game and I saw that. That was amazing. Yeah, no, like we... So we sat... We always have a prayer before every game. That's just kind of what we do. And mm-hmm. Josie, who we're going to be talking to, always leads us, leads us with that. So we thought in those in that time, we thought, let's just get down, have a prayer for Lucena and the rest of the game so hopefully no other girls get injured and that moment and that feeling kind of you know i'll never forget like galvanized you girls to get the win yeah like and then literally i think it was a set later shawnee ran away with the try yeah 
Yeah, so yeah, hopefully now leading into the grand final, we've got a bit more, um, you know, reason to to take it to the end. Mm. So. Yeah, for sure. I mean, fingers crossed. Like, let's put, let's put it this way: you guys can only do better next year. Um, if yeah. obviously it doesn't go your way, but even if yeah, you guys, if, if pardon, don't jinx us. No, I won't. I won't touch wood. Um, but yeah, f- uh, fingers crossed for you guys. I will be there for sure. And anyone who um, follows the Bears or in general loves the women's league, be sure to get your tickets. They're they're only ten yeah. bucks. Um, now crossing over to your time with the Roosters, because uh, the NRLW preseason has more or less just started. Um, yep. What's it like playing at the Elite, you know, in the NRLW and for the Roosters in particular? Um, so over the past year and even now, like I've I've been able to really level up my game by being under people like Jamie Feeney, even with some of those top athletes. Like, you know, I play with Nita at club, but even just seeing her at Roosters, like I'm still in awe of how she is and really inspired to be a player like her and being able to play, like, play along girls like Corbin McGregor and stuff like that. It's awesome to just be under them and to see what they're doing and how they're kind of, you know, um, progressing and what they see in the game and how they pass that on to us coming through. Yeah. No, I get you. So they're kind of like um, like what you aspire to get your fitness and game level up to sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And it's so good because they're so open and willing to share. Like if you have any questions, they'll sit back with you, you know. Um, it's none of that, oh, I'm in this spot. It's, oh, I'm bigger than you. It's, hey, let's do yeah. this together. Yeah, everyone's so, so humble and we, yeah, we're getting to, going through the journey together. So it's really cool. No, nah, that's fair. Um, which team in the NRLW, um, with, uh, obviously the Roosters, Warriors, Broncos and Dragons at the moment, um, do you find is the toughest to go up against, whether that's physically or mentally at the moment for you? Um, personally, for me, it would probably be... All the teams are equally mm. as hard, but our, I guess because they're another Sydney-based team, the Dragons are like mm-hmm. our main competitor. Like and you've got a lot of the girls from the Bears in the Roosters and and, and the Dragons team. Yeah, so like even when we um, come up against them in the nine, the game that we won against them, it felt like a grand final match. You yeah. Know? It wasn't. Like it was just awesome to get the win over that. I think it was that like competitive edge, having the two Sydney-based teams. Mm. Just get the win over them. Yeah, for sure. Um and going into the NRLW season, um, it will be your second, from what I'm led to believe. Um, how are you handling the, you could say, nerves and the prep for the NRLW season this time around compared to your first time? Um, yeah, I guess because now I've had a little bit of a taste of an experience of how it all works. Um, I'm feeling a bit better leading into the season, but I've been kind of, this season I've been chucked around and they've been putting me practicing in hooker, so that's a big... Okay, so Nita's, Nita's position. Yeah, well, yeah, so she's been kind of teaching me the ropes and just trying to get a grasp of, like, trying to um, get all these different positions under wraps. But, yeah, I'm excited for the season ahead. I'm so glad that it's gone, like, still going ahead pre-COVID. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah. Well, I mean, that's one of th- that's one of the things that I think is great um, about the NRLW season. Unfortunately, it's not as long as the men's, but that also is a little bit of a good thing this year because it starts later on in the year and they've had time to come up with a COVID plan, come up with all this sort of stuff for the women's team and, and comp so it can go ahead, which I think is great. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, except except sorry. that we have to COVID tested every week. Uh, minus Oh. <laughs> yeah, m- minus that part, but I mean, it's just part and parcel of it. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on the, <coughs> sorry, of the Central Coast Roosters team com- um, and how um, different are you going to prepare, um, you know, later on in the week, maybe captain's run sort of style compared mm-hmm. to the Sharks? Well, they've obviously got some of the best outside backs in the comp, mm-hmm. which is so they play a really fast type game. So I guess leading into our preparation, we've really just got to perfect what we know as well. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, really preparing to slow that play the ball down so that they can't get that quick turnaround on us. But yeah, we, I think just leading into the final, we really need to focus on ourselves and our shape because um, that's kind of in games in the past, has like going away from our shape and stuff like that has kind of led us to, you know, some losses early on in the season. Um, but yeah, just coming together again on the captain's run and just really perfecting what we do. Mm. Now that's fair enough. Um, do you have a um, pre-game routine or a pre-game game day meal sort of thing? Um, 
not so much pre-game meal, but I don't know if this is a daily ritual, but if I don't have my coffee on game day, okay. I literally am scattered. Like, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> with my life. If I do not have a coffee in the morning... And what type of coffee? Is that just an instant one or is it like a soy latte with some caramel or something? <laughs> oh, no, I'm bougie. I go cap with one equal. Okay. okay. I can't do instant. Can't do instant. Nah, instant is... Ah. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> but yeah, agreed. Uh, pardon? Oh, well, what's my coffee? My, mine is, um, I'm, I'm not a fan of the hot type of coffee, so what I do is I get a, either a nice latte or a nice mocha with um, a, what is it, caramel shot? Usually one or two caramel syrup shots. Oh. Yeah, instead of sugar, because it, it makes it taste really just, you know, instead of sugar, it's still sugary, but it, it tastes nice. <laughs> Nicer than just adding sugar to it. Sounds good. Yeah, go for it. Um... What's your current Netflix binge at the moment? So at the moment, I'm kind of binging on How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, that's a great show. And I've been vibing with, it's not Netflix, but ABC IV, like Wentworth. Yes, I, yeah, Wentworth. Is, is that the Wentworth Redemption? Or is, yeah. is is that the new, yeah. And new, I is it, it. I was going to say, is it any good? But clearly it is, yeah. Season eight. I'm deep in. I love it. Never get enough of it. <laughs> nah, that's awesome. Um, if you could have a superpower, what would it be and why? Um, probably teleporting. Yeah. Because I'd love to be able to teleport. This is so cliche, but like to see my family, like I'll be like, boom, I'm in Perth. Hey, I'm in NZ, you know? Yep. Maybe go to Hawaii, the Maldives. Yeah, go go to wherever, really. You can literally okay. just snap and you're there. <laughs> yeah, ah, that, that. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, how do you like your steak cooked? Um, well done. Really? Well done, yeah. Why okay. Do I not those vibes, no, you give off medium rare or medium well type <laughs> vibes. I don't know. Well it's just done. more. I've never really, I've never really encountered someone other than like, I think one other person for the podcast that likes their steak well done. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Good barbecue sauce. Okay. Okay, so okay. does the sauce go in the cupboard or the fridge? Uh, fridge for sure. That's not even an argument. Exactly. The bottle literally says on the label, "Refrigerate after opening." <laughs> Okay, here's the real question. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. No. No, no, no. No. Nah. That's a fruit. Nah, that's fair enough. Um, uh, let's see what else I've got on my list. Uh, finals, roosters, grassroots, upcoming NRLW. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the upcoming NRLW, not just the roosters in general, but um, what, is, what is the vibe at the roosters in particular, you know, because you've probably, I think it's maybe one or two training sessions so far. Um you know, coming together again after such a long season and, you know, only playing with, you know, Nita and all that other than those close-knit ones. What's it like at the Roosters at the moment for you guys? Um, no, I think Fiends and the, the leadership um, girls really set the standard coming in last week and we've really, you know, really coming together, forming that sisterhood type vibe so it really honestly felt like we never left now that's what, well, well Fiends was at the game on, on Saturday last week um, yeah. and I had a chin with him and yeah he said he was he was really impressed with how the Bears and the Sharks because there's some from both of those teams that play for the Roosters um, he said look it was anyone's game at that point it was about five minutes before unfortunately Lucena, um got her injury and yeah it was anyone's game at that point and then yeah you guys really turned up which is really good yeah, Shani with the clutch plays. We call it Shani. Yep. Yeah, she is really. Like, almost... I've, I've seen, yeah... There was a highlights video that was made by someone... I can't remember who, like, in the last day or so after that clutch. And it's... She clutched it then. She clutched it for the Roosters, I think. Uh, all that. Yes. And I'm just like... That right, it was the Nines, I think, that she that she got a clutch play as well. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, actually, that's a good question that I just thought of. So, you've played alongside Isabel Kelly, who is godlike to you when it comes to playing at the moment um, and then you went up against her um, in the nines what was it like having to go up against her given that she's a speedy winger and you're a fullback um, yeah look I know it would definitely be a test big test um, I don't know that's a hard question because she's such an amazing athlete mm. um, I don't know I always get a bit nervous whenever she's running my way that's for sure Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Well, I mean, she did really well. Um, she got, I think, the f the first try for the Dragons in the Nines within, like, literal the kickoff <laughs> from the game. Yeah, she's actually a weapon. Like, yeah. have you seen how much she's deadly? Pardon? I mean, no. Press, she can bench press, like, 90 kg. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, do you have any advice for any young girls that would love to try and get into Union or League? You know, just the big sports one day. 
Um, my thing would be just, you know, like, oh, this is sorry. I'm trying to think. Go for it. I'm so bad at being inspirational. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that as the first snippet, like, so people can see what the episode's oh, like. Um, no, I'm kidding. No. I won't. I won't. <laughs> um, I don't know, but for young girls coming up through, I'd just say, you know, like, keep it, have fun while you're young because don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the moment and, you know, learn as much as you can and can't wait to hopefully be able to play alongside some of those girls coming up through. Yeah, for sure. I mean... I've interviewed many people and they grew up watching a player and then like it's the last or second last season of that player's career and they get to play alongside him. So that would be great, you know. So during your time with the Bears this season, what have, how have the coaching staff and, you know, all the staff and volunteers been like for you guys um, to get through this season and all the way through to the grand final? And in particular, how's Rob, the head coach, been helping you guys this year? Um, well, to be honest, from day one at the Bears, we've always had such a big support um, network. Like, we've always had a big staff staff group, like, you know, six people in the shed. Um, and Rob's been there from the start as well. But he's really stepped up this year in, you know, because last year he was more kind of a, a defensive coach, but this year he's kind of challenged himself and taken on the role to give us a better attacking shape whilst also maintaining that really good defensive structure. Yep. And... You know, playing under Rob, he's you know such a good guy, so negotiable, approachable. Um, we all love him. We call him Roberto, <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Roberto. Okay. Um, we always have a nice laugh, and I don't know if you know this or if you've seen, but for our finals games, he's been wearing these socks, Papa Bear. Yeah. And they've got all bears on them. <laughs> I think they've kind of been our good luck charm coming into the finals. So. Well, let's hope he wears them on Sunday. <laughs> um, so Rob actually said an amazingly, in my opinion, inspirational quote to you guys. Lacey posted it on her Instagram, I think yesterday or the day before during your game against the Sharks last weekend. I think I may have been half time or at some point when you guys, you know, when the chips were down and he goes, we didn't come this far to come this far. Um, how was the vibe amongst the girls and how did you personally take that quote um, when he said that to you guys? Um, yeah, well, Rob always comes in well prepared to our halftime chat, pre-game chats. Around our change rooms, he's always got like at least five quotes stuck up on the um, around the change room so that we can visually see but this okay. one in particular um, kind of speaks for itself um, you know we've been we've been preparing since the first season and we've since we've been gaining and you know getting better and better each year so why not go that final step I guess and we've got a lot to play for um, this weekend so yeah well on that note I think it's a great time to end the episode because there's not really much else that can be said. You guys will get the win. It's not an if or a but. It's, it's a you guys will get the win. So if you guys want to see the Bears women's Harvey Norman Premiership team win the grand final, uh, and when they win, um, it's on Sunday. I think kickoff is 1 or 1.15. Um, there's, make a day of it if you guys want to. There's t two other games, I think. It's the Sydney Shield before, then you guys, and then I think it's Ron Massey Cup like it was on Saturday. So, yeah, if you guys want to make a day of it, go for it. Or if you guys just want to catch the girls' game, get there at about, uh, I'd say, 12.45. That way you don't miss kickoff. Um, thank you very much for joining us. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday.